Welcome back Tater Tots. As you can tell, here is the promised video on predicted products. I apologize for this being up a little late. I will explain in class why it's not going up till Sunday night. Uh, but it will in fact be up and this will in fact help on the two labs. Uh, just a few quick things as you can tell. Um, according to my screen, I can see the colors just fine, so I apologize if this doesn't work out. Again, we're going to be having a synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, and again, we only technically need to do one synthesis with predicting products. This is only on predicting products. I'm not going to balance anything on this. I'm just going to be strictly putting the pieces together. So let's get started. Now, again, with the synthesis reaction, um, you're always just going to have two elements together, kind of like this. And here's what you can do. All you have to do is put the compound together. Again, this one, we're going to have C-A-N, A-L-P. Again, remember, positive things always go first. So the cations always go first. So again, don't let me trick you with this. I got a lot of you numerous times on this one. And again, this one is going to be K-S. But, as we've talked about in class, and as we've done before in the following units, you must crisscross all the compounds. That's been really the thing that's getting you guys. Um, everything else has been good. It's just people are not crisscrossing. It's almost like they refuse to. And because of that refusal to do so, a lot of you have been getting stuff wrong over and over and over again. And again, I don't want that. You don't want that. So please, please, please remember to crisscross. And again, none of these are crisscrossed. So, again, you know, I'm just going to whip out a different color for these. I always have charges red, let's say. We have a plus 2 with a minus 3. We have a plus 3 with a minus 3. We like that. It's equal. And we got a plus 1 and a minus 2. Again, you'll have access to all this information. So, to simply crisscross, CA3N2. AL3P3. But, as we already know this can be reduced down to ALP. I'm just going to erase that really quick. Again, it can be reduced. We're good to go. And with this one, again, we are going to have K2S. Again, you need two plus ones. Oops. You need two plus ones to get rid of one minus two. So again, that's that one. Nothing really big to it. With decomposition, as I promised in class, I definitely, definitely have to give you a hint on what they're going to be making. Um, in this case, it would be feasible that I might give you a hint that one of the products will be a soft metal, sodium. Uh, you might have some water made, and you might have some CO2 made. Again, I would give you hints on this. For example, you'll see condensation on uh, the test tube or flask or beaker after a reaction. With the flame test, you're going to be able to put out fires. That might help you a little bit with the lab a little bit. Again, CO2 is what's in fire extinguishers. Um, again, with this one, again, copper chloride decomposing, it would make sense that you're going to have copper and chlorine gas. Again, don't forget chlorine is diatomic. This one, I would probably give you a hint like, hey, you're going to make a diatomic gas. Again, chlorine in this case. And you're going to have a solid, say a brownish color being made. Again, I will make the hints very obvious to you. Um, I might even go as far as to say this uh, brownish metal will turn green with weathering, stuff like that. And again, with this one, and again, with a catalyst as a hint, for those of you that are watching the lab, I'm about to give you the answer for this one. Again, you're going to have some H2O. Again, that was the condensation that some of you have seen on that station. And with the flame test, it did relight that flame. Again, that's going to be oxygen. Again, oxygen is diatomic. Please be careful about that. Uh, you do need to know the diatomics. I'm going to put that in green if you don't. Uh, what color do I not have? Dark blue? I'll put that in dark blue. Again, we got H2, N2, O2, F2, Cl2, Br2, and I2. Again, keeping that in mind, that'll make your life a lot easier. Um, as you can see, the first ones really aren't that bad. It's just really crisscrossing. Again, sodium's a metal, so there's no charge. So there's no plus one here. Water, these guys are technically crisscrossed and covalent. You know what water is. You know what CO2 is. Um, and we can go from there. Um, 
Now, moving over here, again, I'm going to check the camera angle, make sure you can see everything. Just kind of pause, because I know some of you might be checking in. Again, all I did here is I just put them together and crisscross. That, that's really all it is, is you just put them together and crisscross. And again, definition of synthesis is when you bring stuff together. When you synthesize something, you're bringing it together for one piece. Um, kind of like making a sandwich. You have some bread, you have some peanut butter, you have some jelly, you synthesize all that together, you have a PB&J. So again, please, please, please keep that in mind. Again, I'm gonna go double check behind the camera, make sure the angle is good. And it looks like you can see everything. I can see everything just fine from here. I'm gonna zoom in just a skosh though. I can actually figure out how to do this the right way. Here we go. And I'm gonna actually go to the other side. Now, with these guys, these guys are the harder ones, okay? I'm gonna be honest, these ones are harder than the um, other ones. Uh, but simply put, it's really not anything to be too scared about. Again, this is the wrong side of the marker. I will scoof the colors a little bit. Um, just to get it done with, I'm just going to do this one really quick. Um, again, anytime you have a combustion reaction, again, you're always going to make two products. One puts out fire, the other puts out fire. And those, of course, are CO2 and H2O. Always. In a combustion reaction, you're always going to make those products. You're always, always, always going to. Um, a lot of the times, too, people will go completely on combustion. Honestly, they kind of remember just this. They remember that O2, CO2, H2O order that you've seen pretty much every single time. Again, that works with combustion, and that's going to work every single time, which is pretty cool. Which leads us to our harder two things. Now, looking at these, again, they're not hard. Um, again, this whole unit isn't hard, actually, at all. Um, it's just kind of recognizing the pattern. And if you can see the pattern, those of you that have, you've been getting everything right. Those of you that haven't seen it just yet, that's where the struggle's been. Um, again, going with the single replacement reaction. Potassium and aluminum. Again, potassium is a metal, aluminum is a metal, therefore they're cations, which means we have a negative anion, which is a non-metal. Again, I'm just going to go through, I'm just going to look and see what I find, and that's kind of what I'm seeing. And you know what, as a matter of fact, because I just realized that all these are going to be kind of plus plus we're looking at, let's give you an extra one really quick. Uh, let's give you nickel to fluoride reacts with. Yeah, we'll go with this. We'll go with that. We'll give you an extra one. With these, again, you're going to be flipping the positives. If they work, if they work, check. Check the activity series. Check the activity series. Because if you're looking at these right now, I'll tell you of these four, two of them don't work. Why waste your time on a problem that doesn't work? That's just going to slow you down on the exam. Um, again, looking at this, potassium is better than aluminum. Potassium is one of the best metals. This will, in fact, flip, which means you will have KCl plus Al. In this case, if you look at your chart, copper is not better. than magnesium. Copper is actually way toward the bottom. This one will not work. This will be a no reaction. And looking at this one, iron versus uh, sodium. Again, sodium actually won't work either. And again, that means that three of these don't work because just kind of jumping ahead a little bit. Fluorine is the best non-metal. Um, again, it's most reactive, really small. Electronegativity is really high. So again, this one won't happen either. Um, I do apologize, but if you would allow me, I'm going to flip these two. I apologize. I, I was completely flipped in my mind. I have some example problems I wrote down, and this I flipped. Yeah, I'm looking right at it. I completely flipped it. I do apologize. It was supposed to be this. Um, again, in this case, the iron is worse than the sodium. So we're going to get a flip. Again, we're going to have NA, Cl, plus, again, iron by itself. Um, again, that's essentially all you have to do. Uh, we haven't crisscrossed anything, so that's no good. Uh, but as it turns out, got some plus one, minus one, and we're pretty good to go. 
Uh, again, if you're looking at other things, it is possible that you might have to crisscross other things. I could have polyatomics in here. That's fair game. But again, just for this, I'm keeping it simple because it works the same with polyatomics. Um, the only other thing is you're not going to see a polyatomic by itself flipping with another polyatomic. Again, negative charges, they don't work like that. You're not going to have just phosphate sitting there. It's going to be with something. Kind of like this. It's going to be with aluminum or sulfate will be with iron. Um, again, that's just how these work. You just got to check the activity series. And with these, again, the precipitate, these all work, which is really, really cool. So don't have to worry too much about that, which is kind of a nice thing. And I'm going to have to switch over to, let's do this color for it. <coughs> again, ALPO4, like I said, in class, I always flip the negatives because that's just a heck of a lot easier for me. So we're going to get ALCL plus NAPO4. Again, this is where we get that AB plus CD is always AD plus CB. And as you notice, this is going to work every single time. Every single double replacement back reaction follows this. Again, just flip the negatives. This is going to be MGBR. And we're going to be adding it to CUO. Here, we're going to have LISO4 plus FES. All I did was flip the negatives. I didn't touch anything else. Again, looking through here, getting the charges down, a plus 3 with a minus 1, a plus 1 with a minus 3, a plus 2 with a minus 1. Again, I would have to tell you what the copper charge is because it's a transition metal. Um, because it's plus 3 here, because of this 3, I'm just going to keep it a plus 3. Minus two just to make it easier. Plus one, minus two. And again, iron is a minus two here because it balances out with the minus two sulfate. So iron is plus two and sulfate. Sorry, sulfide, sulfide is minus two. And again, if you're looking at all these crisscrosses, the only thing now you have to do is do the crisscross. ALCL3, Na3PO4, MGBR2, Cu2, 203 li2 so4 and again we are balanced out at plus or minus two and that, that's all you have to do with predicting products again i'm not balancing any of this i just kind of want you to see that it's really just a pattern and as long as you're checking your activity series and you're double checking the crisscross there's really no way to get these wrong um again i hope this video um really helps again i have a kind of you know really worried about this with you guys because i know you guys can do this but i I really need, if you need help, you need to come see me. Um, this is something you can do for sure. I know you can. Uh, it's just something you haven't seen the patterns yet. And once you see the patterns, it's going to be so much easier for you. Again, I really, really hope this helps. These are pretty good problems. And if you have any questions, let me know. And we'll continue our lab tomorrow. Again, peace road, bro. I'll see you later.